Hey, these babes. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be doing an educational video because even though we're still in, most of us still have school. So today I'm going to teach you how to do study blur notes on a Chromebook. Now I've seen multiple videos of these on it with an iPad, but I'm going to do mine on a Chromebook because that's what I have. Now this is the Chromebook Levito Seamless. Um, it does have tablet mode and it does fold back and stuff, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go set that up and then I'm going to show you how to take the prettiest study blur notes on my Chromebook. Okay, so this is a two-part video. So one is basically, so what my math teacher does is he takes a PDF and then we just have to fill in the blanks. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you how to personally write your own study blur notes. So um, the, we're going to do the PDF one first because it's the easiest. Um, so we're going to be using Kami. So this is my PowerPoint and basically I have to fill in the blanks. I'm trying to find one that's um okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over uh, oh, do a different one. I'm gonna go over here to these three dots. And then I'm gonna go open new window. to open with then annotate with Cami. Um, I'm using a pencil because my Apple pencil is at my grandma's and as you know I can't take it. Um, I can't go get it. Also, please stay inside. Okay? It's for the healthy of others, the health of others and yourself. Also, do what I'm doing. Make a YouTube video. It works, dude. So, this is what my teacher had already annotated. So what you do in that matter is you'd go here. If I can, that little button and create your own copy. Now, oh, hold on. Now the only reason mine my pdf pop up on Kami is because i use Kami so much so what you would probably do is um you would wait for Kami to like get up in the drive oh my god my light's broken but relevant and it would like um it would be there and if it isn't there you would have it be like you would go to your send the document the powerpoint to your drive and then Kami would get it from your drive basically Also, I use a 30 day, 30, um, day trial, so for $99, you can get the full thing for like, and it's $99 a year, but I, I would say use the $10 a month thing because the only thing you're going to need when you're writing your own notes, which I'm going to show you, is the picture edit so you can put in diagrams and um, the typing thing so you can make your own headers because that's what I do. I don't draw my own headers. I make them. So, um, yeah, there's that, and okay, so my teacher basically did it for me, but I'm just going to show you a brief little, hold on, zoom in. So you're going to go to... I don't know if you can see that. See how he edited it? I'm going to go look at it from a better edit. So I'm basically just going to do that. So I keep a pat. So you can have palettes. They have a lot of colors. Like here. But I made a pastel palette. Because that's kind of like the study blur thing. That's like the study blur thing. And you can take. I can't find my pencil. But oh. And you can just draw on it and fill in the blanks and that's about it for that one so I would start and go to Cami um, sign make a um, make an account of course and then you would sign in and then pick so 
what you do is you could do it from Google Drive, like I said with the other one, or here. Hold on. You can use a blank page. And then they have different types of pages, like like they have lined, grid, music sheets, blank. I like to go with grid. And then, bam, and basically, so I'm going to make my headers and stuff and come back and I'm going to show you, like, what I'm talking about. In a box, basically, so you go to boxes right there and then pick a color, bam, box. I'm going to erase that and then, so then, after I finish making my box, I'm going to go to type. This is so hard to do on camera. And then I'm going to pick my favorite um, header and then I'm just going to type it and then highlight it. Here's a header. I basically just showed you. I did the box and then I hit text and then I used um, a special like cursive looking text and then I just used the box highlighter right there and highlighted it and that's about it for the header. Now, um, as far as writing, you go right about there, right there, and hold on. Diagram. So how you would do that is you would go to the picture portion of it. What I like to do is I like to go to Google and I'll type in my diagram and you'll see that. And you see all those? I like that one. And then I just hit select and then I'd move it to where I'd like it, which is not near my header. Okay. And then I'd basically, um, and then I'll show you what it looks like after. And then I'd basically just highlight it, so. That's not how I highlight it, but I can't highlight it and record it at the same time, so I'll show you what it looks looks like after I do everything. So this is what it looks like fully like highlighted and since it already had words on it I didn't have to like write them out and then basically all I have to do is write now which I'm not going to write with since no one's filming me I can't really write with um and film at the same time but basically I just write in black and then I highlight the important stuff in green. So, yeah. So, when you are in class, oh god, I look weird. Remember to um, write it down, like write the PowerPoint down in regular, and then when you get home, you can like make them all fancy and stuff. Um, but since we're like on quarantine, I can write them however I want. Okay, so I'll show you what the finished look looks like. So, this is the finished product. If I can get it to stand up, hold on. I know it doesn't look like I wrote much, but if you could see, the green stuff was very important. I This isn't the finished, finished product, but I'm going to like write the full thing, thing out. And I will show it in my next video because it's so long. It literally takes me like two days to do my notes. So um, that was just what it would look like with the words and stuff. And I'll show the full thing um, next video. And I guess I'll see you guys. Um, around the time my next video starts. Remember, stay in um, to stop the spreading. Also, I'm going to try to post my next video at least tomorrow or at least start filming tomorrow because since I'm in quarantine, I have nothing left to do but to make videos, so I might as well, you know? Um, but, um, yeah, here's the outro. I love you. Just hit that subscribe button, like, and follow, and I know my comments are off, but... If I get enough subscribers, you guys can comment to see what you guys want to see next. Um, 
And I guess that's it. Bye, Gucci Babes.